joining us later for a rendition of us with some uh, special songs. I asked them if I could join them. We'd become Harvey and the Adelettes. And they said uh, it would be the Adelettes and Harvey. And we just decided we would do it as the Adelettes. So uh, they will be back, though, later in the program. It's my pleasure now to uh, invite our annual, um, seems, seems like perennial, uh, sponsor of this event. Uh, Long Island's uh, finest volunteer. Uh, he's the uh, chairman of what we call the Long Island Blood Services Volunteer Leadership Team. Uh, he's involved in uh, numerous uh, educational and healthcare related uh, charitable organizations. Uh, in his part time, he's the president of TP Bank Long Island. And uh, it's uh, our pleasure to have him here again with us, Ed Trevelyan. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be here to welcome you and to really help provide a setting to thank you. Thank you for the incredible volunteering that you did. We try to do that through uh, some of the elegant food here, no lines. Uh, we do that with the camaraderie that, that's here, and, and it's just one way to say thank you. What I'd like to do is to say thank you with some words and some sentiment, which I think is equally as important. And I thought a good way that I might do that is to reflect back on something that happened to me just a couple of weeks ago. One of the things that I do in volunteering is I'm the chairman of the board of Long Island University. And we were very fortunate to have a, a very uh, kind benefactor donate $5 million to the School of Pharmacy at Long Island University a couple of weeks ago. And it was a wonderful event. And yes, it deserves a round of applause for sure. Uh, and in, in uh, donating the $5 million, we had a bit of a ceremony. He gave a check for the million dollars and pledged the rest over time. And uh, I, in a, in a very sincere way, got up and thanked him. And I thanked him along the lines of telling him how much his gift meant to uh, the university, certainly to uh, future students, their families. There was a legacy nature to what he did. There was an annuity nature because by his gift, putting up a wing of a building in some state-of-the-art laboratories in the School of Pharmacy. Uh, he would provide uh, the learning uh, center for lots of students in the future. And I applauded him, I congratulated him, and I thanked him because he did it with a sense of philanthropy that didn't require uh, attribution. We gave it to him, but it didn't require it. He did it, and I thanked him along the lines of doing it with anonymity. He wouldn't know the students, he probably never meet many of them, uh, and he did it with that recurring theme, that multiplier effect, because the more students came through, the more trajectory of lives that he would change so positively. And as I thought about the theme to thank you tonight, I said all of that applies to all of you in the very, very same way. The multiplier effect of what you do, the recurring nature, the giving with anonymity, and in your case, changing the lives of people who are in desperate need of life-saving playlists is something which is as important, as impactful, as certainly what that gentleman did. So as I thank him from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you for what you do. You save lives. You do it without the ceremony, perhaps without the ribbon cutting, without a, a name on a building or on a lab, but it is equally as important and in saving lives, I would tell you, it's even more important. So thank you for what you do. Continue to provide the wonderful support to the community that you do. You make all of us very, very proud. Thank you very much.